social media thoughts on today's result? We lost the game 2-1. We played pretty football, but pretty football isn't going to win you matches. Um, we need to be more ruthless as a team. That's including myself. We need to put the ball in the back of the net. And once we become better in the opposition box and they are in our box, that's when pretty football will count. And right now we need to really work hard on converting our chances because I think today we had 19 attempts on goal and they had, I think, six in total. And we haven't put the ball in the back of the net more than they have, so we come away with the defeat. So I think going forward, we need to stick together and, and, and work on putting the ball in the back of the net. We so we spoke about Ruben Rufus there. You know, we took our first chance in the game with Ethan Chislett's goal. Yeah, Ethan's put the ball in the back of the net early doors and that's got us off to a cracking start. And from then, we, we had them on the ropes. I think for large um, parts of the game, we had them on, on the ropes and, and we just didn't take our chance when it came to us. There was quite a few. Um, we need to dust ourselves down really quickly and go again because we've got a massive three points to go and get next week against Chorley away. Um, we need to start being more ruthless. We, we spoke about that in the dressing room. The gaffer knows, we all know as boys that we need to be ruthless as a team. And for the fans that have come down today, we appreciate all the support that they continue to give us because they have been really patient with us and I can understand where it may get frustrating watching on. And we just want to say, I'll say it on behalf of the boys, we are thankful for the support that we are getting because they've traveled miles today and we, we, we've come away with a defeat. So thank you again for that. But we do know we need to start putting the ball in the back of the net. Well, you know, we spoke about them getting their equaliser in the first half. We responded in the second half in the best possible way with the penalty. Mm -hmm. so, you know, obviously you won it. Harry took it. What was the mm -hmm. thinking behind that? Harrison, Harrison's on the penalties. Um, he's, he's, he's never meant to miss. Nobody means to miss a penalty. So he'll brush himself down and I know he will go again. Um, even with the other chances, everybody, nobody means to miss a chance. Everybody wants to score. So I know it's a bit disheartening because we did miss the penalty. But do you know what? we got to look past it now and say the penalty was one chance we had 17 other chances that we didn't put in so we can't just look at Harrison because he played really well again today so we need to move forward from that and, and start taking our chances me myself I'm a big critic of myself and I know I've got to start putting the ball in the back of the net it's not just about playing with my back to go I'm a centre forward and I need to put the ball in the net so for the fans that have been patient I appreciate it and we're going to work hard again Monday and, and go again a normal positive note, you know, your first start in a little while. What was the manager, uh, message from Danny before the game? His message was just to get my head down and work hard. As I, as, I, as I always try and do is just work hard and get myself on the score sheet. He's always prompted me to get myself on the score sheet and, you know, giving me the confidence that I need. So thanks to the gaffer for doing that towards me. Um, I played, I think it was nine starts in a row, so I think I needed a bit of a rest. And Harrison came in and he'd done, he done really well. We scored two goals in three games, so he was doing really well. And today, we both up front today, I think we caused a problem for the back, the back three against um, Chesterfield. So going forward, we'll see what the gaffer does. But whoever he plays up front is, is more than well enough and, and, and capable enough to, to put in a performance for the team. And you spoke about next Saturday's game against Chorley Hamporn. Is that... It's, sure it's, it's, it's the most important game. We've got to see each game now as our last game. That's how we've got to look at it because we're in a position where three points matters. If you're flying high and at the top of the table, you get some free hits, but we're not there yet. So we need to, we need to get together and, and go into next week's game like it's our last game and say that's the three points we need and go into every other game going forward with that mentality because three points needs to get put on the board now. It's not under 23's football where it's about learning, it's about the three points on the board and that's what we need to, need to focus on and, and start being ruthless. I think ruthless is the key that we need to start being now. Because it's quite a young squad, isn't it? So, you know, a lot of things to learn in such a sort of amount of time as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, and it's, it's, we, we, the majority of our team is under 23 years old, but do you know what? This is what we are and we need to come away from the fact that we're young and accept the fact that we are playing in the National League now. So we're at men, we're considered as men and we need to go forward playing as men and have a men's mentality. We need to start understanding game, game know-how and what to do in certain positions because at the end of the day, one 90 minutes comes and the ref blows the whistle. If you ain't got more goals than them, you've lost the game. It's not about learning anymore, it's about the three points. Twelfth of October, non-league day. Get yourself there.